two three one nine. Um, did you know that the town I live in here played the town I've been drawing the last few days? Well, I've been drawing the last few years, to be honest. I've only been sharing it for the last few days. Did you know this town is the home of the famous lozenge um, uh, Fisherman's Friends? And I mentioned that because this clock I'm drawing here is a memorial for the founder's mother. Not the founder, the the person who the person who previously was in charge of the company. She she died um, last year, I think. Last year. 2021. Um, so her family founded Fisher and Friends here in Fleetwood. But it's not long enough. That's not wide enough. And she spent a lot of her own money improving the town here. Her factory is just a little further down the road on the same street. Um, and years ago, she built this memorial clock in memory of her mother. Um, in terms of investment for the local community, she invests more than anyone else, luckily, including the council. Um, she built statues and new proms and provides a lot of work in the town. Um, this sounds like pro fisherman friend and propaganda. But, uh, I only mention this because this is the cop. She had built. Oh, that's too big. Um, and yeah, you know, yeah. Quite a number of buildings in the town. Um, Rent them out to various organisations, from the YMCA to a special needs school and so on. Um, brings more money into the town than fish does, but. You wouldn't think it the way people still talk about the fishing industry, which is pretty much dead here. But uh, we used to provide, um, there used to be, well, the town is about 30,000 people, and the fishing industry used to provide a third of all, a third of all, all the jobs in the community now it provides less than a hundred. Um, like I said before, it is quite a deprived area. I mean, well, this is a place where people from Blackpool look down at us and poor, say we're rough and say we're all Cardettes and shit. Um, I remember being at school and having someone get stuck on Dock Street, which is, you can literally see at the end of the street. Um, you know, you've got a McDonald's on there now, but back in the 90s, I remember people being who from out of town talking about being terrified 
that was broken down on Dock, dock Street in the night. You, you couldn't be safer because at the time um, at the time uh, uh, there were loads of cameras so I would look in the dock so you'd be fine but you know middle class people be afraid of how black poor people are afraid and most of them are middle class <laughs> there are times when it lives up to its reputation but uh, I've never really seen it myself there are times when they claim it lives up to its reputation I should say <coughs> I feel safer walking around Fleetwood than I did Farmton. I've been shouted at and all sorts in Farmton over the years. Got some really nice beaches and stuff around here and things like that. And it's where we as a family have chosen to uh, have a home. I can't even say it's because my wife's from Fleetwood too, and we just don't know any different. Lived a couple of different places over the years. Um, and when it comes to beaches, quite nicer beaches than Blackpool. But don't tell anyone because you know we like to keep our beaches for ourselves. <laughs> Sorry, so we'll start the boat bike outside. I mean, you get stuff like that in Fleetwood. I've had stuff like that wherever I've lived, so. Maybe it's a Northern thing, Northern English. No saying that having worked at a private school. Oh, no, they weren't like that. see watch adverts um, the reason why they're like that is because it looks like a happy face um, so you, you will see that digitally these days as well Because it's such a tradition to set your watches at that time, then you'll have advertisers that don't know why it's that time on the clock. Um, 
So as well as Fisherman Friends, one of the other things we've got going on here in Fleetwood that helps bring money into the town is we have Nautical College, which we have students from all over the world. Um, we've even had, you know, we've even had members of the royal family come and uh, train here. Um, and apparently they had code names. Um, I only say because, you know, right here at the moment, we're all family here. In the news, because of the Queen's death. several trees and the fact I'm looking at including a tram. Not that a tram's a tree, just there's a tram. Because the tram tracks are along here. It's a black hole. And the reason I mentioned the North Campus is because this building here um, is used a lot by um, uh, North Campus students. just a short ride on the tram. So this is brilliant if you go to the North Campus in terms of location. It's not the North Campus itself, but it's like a five minute tram ride. running tramways in the UK and in a walking distance of McDonald's. To be honest, my house is, this is very, very close to my house. I live kind of in this end of Fleetwood. It's one of those where the town really is a bit of a hole in the ground, but you know, it's our hole in the ground. <laughs> you know, we're allowed to talk poorly of it if you're from here. Um, no one else is. That's the reason why it can get frustrating, but you know, everyone else can get so snobby about the place. Not that I'd recommend private schools, but I've got an old private school. 
Where's the dog? Got the seat. Where's the dog? Fresh air. There was um, a Lancashire poet in the Victorian era and his name was Samuel Laycock um, although he was from Milltowns um, he got a bad chest so he moved here for the sea air um, he died up in Blackpool but he worked at one of the old library buildings in the town. In this town. Uh, he was alive during the time of the common, uh, cotton famine, which was uh, during the American Civil War. American Civil War was one of those odd ones where the workers supported the North and the factory owners supported the South. Despite the fact that uh, uh, there's a lack of jobs for cotton mills, they still managed to raise funds to send to support the North in America. help free slaves whereas you know the mill owners wanted to like the cheap cotton and wanted the slaves to keep being slaves say that the uh, mill owners supported the, the South, the atrociously um, launched uh, an ironclad to uh, help fight for the South and as soon as it got to America it got captured hilariously. captured by the North and the North used it for, for the rest of the war and that having had to set off from Preston which is like the next main river over we're on the wire uh, Preston's on the Ribble uh, Lancaster's to the north of us that on the Loon um, Yeah. 
this area has had people on it on and off since the uh, Roman times. Um, the wire itself, though, this area of Fleetwood till the Victorian era was a rabbit warren where they privately kept wild rabbits for hunting, killing, and eating. The uh, upper classes. It's reason I said it's had a, it's a chart town and market chart town. It's had a market chart. Have a note. Let's finish this one. Yeah, um, that's it for today. It's late because I ended up working on my workshop and I've been to pick work up from the gallery. So I really want to do some finished work. I started, I started to finish this some work. I've got. Um, So, same painting, two versions. I've got three versions. But this one's big. You can't fit that. There we go. Yeah. Once I've got my workshop, once I've got my pottery workshop sorted, I'm going to work some more. I'm going to advertise pottery work for a lesson. And then we'll look at doing some proper paintings rather than just sketch paintings. Um, because it's been a while since I finished anything. I need to sketch book work isn't finished work, it's just gonna be practice. I shall have seen. All these days have been filmed so far. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.